evening. Hope everyone is doing well tonight. Tonight we have the most important message that you will ever hear in your life. And it's the only way that you can go to heaven. Because the reality, my friends, is that all of us will die one day. But the question you have to ask yourself is what will happen after you die? Have you ever asked yourself this question? Today we celebrate death as if it's something that we look forward to. But unless you have Jesus, my friends, you will not have eternal life. So I would like to encourage you today to put your trust in Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, the Son of the living God. Because there is no other way for you to go to heaven. Because after this life, my friends, every single one of us will be judged by God. We will all stand before a holy God, and we will all give an account according to all that we have done on this earth, whether good or bad. But the problem is, my friends, is that no one is good. No one is righteous. All of us have sinned against God. And that is why we have been separated from God. And that is why we live in a broken world. We live in a world full of sin, full of sickness, full of death, to the point where man has rebelled against God, to the point where they even celebrate evil. And today is proof of that reality, that man has rebelled against God and against everything that is good. Man has gone the opposite direction of God because God is holy, God is good, God is life, God is light. But why is it that we want to celebrate death, darkness, evil, curses? I would like to tell you today that even though you have rebelled against God, even though you have sinned against God, there is hope for eternal life. Because the Bible says that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, so that whosoever believes in Him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. My friends, the message that I have for you today is known as the Gospel, which means good news. And the good news is that 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ came on this earth, born of a virgin, because Jesus is God in the flesh. And that is why Jesus is the only person in the history of mankind who could live without sin because he was not tainted by sin because he was conceived by the Holy Spirit. And so Jesus lived a sinless, perfect life. He did miracles, signs and wonders. He healed the sick. He cast out devils. He raised the dead. And he said, I am the way, the truth and the life. And no one could go to the Father except by me. I would like to tell you today that Jesus Christ is the only way for you to go to heaven. Jesus is the door to eternal life. I want to encourage you to enter that door because narrow, narrow is the way to eternal life, my friends. But the way is only through Jesus Christ. So I want to encourage you, my friends, to put your trust in Jesus today. Recognize that you have sinned against God that you have broken God's law, that you are separated from God. And if you die, my friends, you will be separated from God for all eternity in hell. But God doesn't want you to go to hell, my friends. God wants you to go to heaven. And that is why God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to die for your sins. And on the third day, Jesus resurrected from the dead, proving that He is the Son of God and proving that everything that he said was true. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus said, I am the door to eternal life. So my friends, if you want to have 100% certainty that you are on your way to heaven, it's very simple. First, you must believe the gospel that Jesus is the Son of God, that Jesus died for your sins, and that Jesus resurrected from the dead. It is absolutely essential that you believe this message if you want to have hope for eternal life. But not only must you believe, my friends, you must also repent of your sins. What does it mean to repent? It means first you recognize that you have sinned against God. You recognize that you have disobeyed God's law. Whether it's lying, stealing, disobeying your parents, drunkenness, fornication, all of those sins lead you to death, lead you to judgment. But I'm here to share with you good news. When Jesus came on this earth, Jesus lived the perfect sinless life, and Jesus was qualified to become the perfect sacrifice. When Jesus died on the cross for your sins, Jesus took the punishment of God upon himself, the wrath of God, the judgment of God that you and I deserve, was placed upon Jesus on that cross. 
so that you don't have to be punished for your sins. Jesus took the punishment for you. But if you want to benefit from the cross, you must believe the gospel. You must respond to the message because God loves you and God made a way for you to go to heaven by sending his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for your sins and on the third day Jesus Christ resurrected from the dead and so Jesus came to save you from your sins but if you want to be forgiven there is a condition my friends you must come to God you must respond to his love you must believe the message believe the good news that Jesus is the Son of God, that Jesus died for your sins, that Jesus resurrected from the dead. And you must make a firm decision to turn away from your sins, turn from your wicked ways, and put your trust in Jesus Christ today, my friends. Eternal life is available for you today. God loves you, no matter what you have done. God loves you. But God cannot let the guilty go unpunished because God is holy, God is pure, God is righteous. The Bible says that God is light and in him there is no darkness. So if you are walking in darkness, God cannot have a relationship with you. That is why your sins have separated you from God. And because God is holy, he cannot let the wicked, the guilty, Go to heaven without a penalty. And the penalty for sin is death. But the good news is that Jesus died for your sins. The Bible says that Jesus became a curse so that you could walk in the blessings of God, so that you can be forgiven of your sins, so that you can have eternal life. So today we are pleading with you today to think about the most important question you must ask yourself. And that question is, where will you go after you die? What will happen after you die, my friends? The Bible gives us the answer. The Bible says, it is appointed for man to die once, and then after will be the judgment. Every single one of us will be judged by God one day. And we will give an account for every single action we have done, every idle word, every sin we have committed, every time we have lied, every time we looked upon a man or woman with lust, every time we looked at pornography, every time we've had sex outside of marriage, every time we have gotten drunk. All of us, my friends, will be judged for those sins. And the reality is that all of us have committed those sins. And that is why we need a savior. That is why Jesus came to save us because we cannot save ourselves. Because we are born with a sinful nature, it is impossible for us as human beings to live a life without sin because we have been cursed by sin. Amen. You believe in Jesus, my friend. Bless you. You believe Jesus is the Son of God. It is absolutely essential, my friends, that you believe this message. Because unless you believe, unless you repent, the Bible says that you will perish. You will pay the penalty for your sin. And the penalty for your sin is death and judgment and eternal torment. And unless you are forgiven of your sins, my friends, there is judgment awaiting you. But Jesus took the judgment of God upon himself so that you could be forgiven. My friends, there is hope for eternal life. Even though you are a sinner, we are all sinners. Even though you are not good enough to go to heaven, none of us are good enough to go to heaven. Because we have all lied, we have all stolen, we have all disobeyed our parents. We are all guilty of sin. And that is why, my friends, we all need a savior. And the good news I have for you today is that there is a savior. His name is Jesus Christ, the savior of the world, the son of the living God. Jesus came on this earth 2,000 years ago, born of a virgin, conceived by the Holy Spirit. And so Jesus was not tainted by sin because Jesus is God in the flesh. And Jesus lived a sinless, perfect life. And therefore Jesus was qualified to become the perfect sacrifice, my friends. And Jesus died on the cross 
for your sins. Jesus became the perfect sacrifice for you and I, my friends. And not only that Jesus died for your sins, Jesus resurrected from the dead, proving that he is the Son of God, proving that everything that he was saying is true. And what did Jesus say while he was on this earth? He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He said, no one could come to the Father except by me. He said, I am the door to eternal life. And he willingly went to the cross. He suffered, he was crucified, suffering excruciating pain on that cross. And he bore the penalty for your sins. Jesus took your sins upon that cross, my friends, so that you can be forgiven. But there is a condition. If you want to be forgiven of your sins, you must receive the free gift of eternal life. You must receive the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says, without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins, because God is holy, and God cannot let the guilty go unpunished, and that is why sin was punished at the cross, so that you don't have to be punished. But the condition for you to be free from your guilt is you must believe the gospel of Jesus. You must believe that Jesus is the Son of God. You must believe that Jesus died for your sins. And you must believe that Jesus resurrected from the dead. And you must repent of your sins. What does it mean to repent? You must recognize that you have sinned against God, that you have disobeyed God, that you have rebelled against God. No, none of us can say that we are good in our, by our own works because our sins have already disqualified us. We have all broken God's law. That is why the Bible says that no one is good. No, not one. If you compare yourself to evil people, you might consider yourself a good person. But if you compare yourself to God, my friends, all of us fail the test. We have all broken God's law. We have all lied, stolen, cheated. So repentance is recognizing, humbling yourself, recognize that you're a sinner, ask God to forgive you of your sins, and make a decision to turn away from your sins and to follow Jesus Christ with all your heart. Because the harsh reality, my friends, is that every single one of us will die one day. And it's funny that today we are celebrating death as if it's a good thing that you will die. It is good if you put your trust in Jesus. Because if you believe in Jesus, you will have eternal life. But if you don't... Right, but where will your soul go? But your soul will live eternally. Your, your, your soul will live eternally. We will all die one day. And death, it could be a good news if you believe in Jesus Christ. Because you will go to heaven. <laughs> but if you don't believe in Jesus, my friends, you have no sacrifice for your sins. And so it will be terrible news if you die without Jesus. Because you will stand before God and you will be judged and you will pay the penalty for your sins. And the penalty for your sin is, is death and eternal torment, my friends. That is what we call hell. Hell is a place of eternal separation from God. You're separated from God and all His benefits. That means you're separated from peace. You're separated from health. You're separated from comfort. Hell is a place of eternal torment forever and ever. And God doesn't want you to go to hell. And that is why He sent Jesus to die for your sins. But you must put your trust in Jesus, my friends, if you want to be forgiven of your sins. And if you want to have eternal life. So my friends, on a day that we are celebrating death, think about death for a second. Think about that day where you will breathe your last breath. Because every single one of us, one day, we will stand before God we will all face death one day. There is coming a day that you will breathe your last breath. There is coming a day that you will have a funeral. There is coming a day that you will be buried. This is the harsh reality that we tend to ignore and maybe we try to mask it by trying to celebrate it. But the reality, my friends, is that death is sure 
No one can escape death. And no one can escape judgment. Every single one of us will stand before God, will stand before our Creator. And that is why you and I must put our trust in Jesus Christ. Because Jesus is the only name under heaven given among men by which we can be saved. There is no other name. There is no other prophet. There is no other religious figure who came to save you. It is only Jesus, my friends. He's the only way to go to heaven, my friends. Because if you examine every other religion, religion will tell you that you have to do good deeds, and if you're good enough, maybe you, you could go to heaven. But the problem with this theory is that none of us are good enough. We have all broken God's law. No one is good. And no matter how many good things that you do, it will not erase the sins that you have committed. The reality is that your sins have already separated you from God. And if you have not received Jesus Christ in, as your Lord and Savior, my friends, the wrath of God is upon you. The wrath of God is awaiting you. Do you believe in Jesus, my friend? I would love to see Jesus come to me. Do you believe in him? Fuck yeah. I mean, he was a real person, so fuck yeah. Do you believe Jesus is the Son of God? I do. Amen. And I think that he fucking shoots fat loads too. Do you believe that there was a God? I'm Audi, bro. Yeah, fuck yeah, bro. Fuck yeah. Do you believe that if you stand before God, and let's say God judges you, according- How about if I kneel before God? Well, yeah, sure. Let's say you kneel before God, and He judges you according to everything that you have done on this earth. Do you think that you'd be good enough to go to heaven? Is that the one where you get 72 virgins? No, I, I'm not a Muslim. That is, that is a demonic religion. I'm a Christian. Okay. Good boy. <laughs> so, do you believe? Do you, so you don't. I would like to tell you, my friend, that Jesus is the only way to heaven. I know. Yeah. So you have to repent of your sins, my friend. He was actually a fucking badass motherfucker. Yeah. So you have to repent, my friend. I never even sinned, bro. You, have you ever lied? Hell no, bro. I don't lie. That was a lie right there. Have you ever? <laughs> have you ever stolen anything? Because oh, you're goofy, eh? Have you ever stolen anything? Because I'm black? No, because you're a human. Like all of us. No, I don't steal, bro. H have you ever said the name of God in vain? Yeah, I have. That's have you ever... Have you ever looked upon a woman with lust? No. <laughs> have you ever looked upon a man or woman with lust? Mm, actually, not before tonight. Have you ever had sex outside of marriage? No, I'm virgin. Have you ever... <laughs> why are you laughing? My point is Wait, why are you laughing? Because I don't believe you My yeah. point is All of us have sinned Whether you lied Whether you stole Whether you disobeyed your parents right, Whether you said the name of God in name I'm gonna fucking meditate on that shit but I'll think about So it. you must recognize that you're a sinner And you must ask God to forgive you And you must put your trust in Jesus Christ As your Lord and Savior Amen, bro. So Amen if you put your trust in Jesus You believe that he's the son of God you believe he died for your sins and you believe he resurrected from the dead and you repent of your sins you recognize that you sin you turn away from your sins and you put your trust in Jesus Christ my friends your sins will be forgiven and you can have a relationship with God you can have a relationship with your creator and ultimately you can have eternal life that is the good news my friends so the message that we have for you tonight is very simple the only way that you can have 100% certainty that you are on your way to heaven, first you must believe the good news that Jesus is the Son of God, that Jesus died for your sins, and that Jesus resurrected from the dead. And you must come to God with a sincere heart, recognize that you have sinned against God, recognize that you're not good enough to go to heaven, ask God to forgive you of your sins, and make a decision to turn away from your sins and to follow Jesus Christ with all your heart. If you make that decision today, my friends, God will forgive you where you're at. Do you believe in Jesus, my friends? Do you believe Jesus is the Son of God? Do you believe Jesus resurrected from the dead? Have you repented of your sins? Uh, what about today? Well, repent before it's too late. Because one of the lies of Satan 
is making you believe that you will always have another chance. But the reality is that more, the more you resist God, the more you resist that voice telling you to repent and to believe, the more you're in danger of your heart becoming hard to the point where you can no longer hear the voice of God. So I would like to tell you, my friend, to believe in Jesus, to trust in Him. Jesus loves you even though you mock God, even though you rebel against God, even though you identify yourself with the devil, even though you celebrate death, you celebrate wickedness, God loves you and God wants to forgive you. Because the Bible says that Jesus died even for his enemies, even for the people who rebel against God. Jesus died for you. And if you want to be forgiven, you must respond to the love of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says that while you are yet a sinner, Jesus Christ died for your sins. That is the love of Jesus. There is no other love. There is no greater love than this. Then one should lay down his life for his friends. And even those who mock God, even those who dress as Jesus, as a mockery, God loves those people as well. But you must respond to his love if you want to be forgiven of your sins, my friends. You must recognize that you have sinned. You must ask God to forgive you. You must make a decision to turn from your sins and to follow Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, the Son of the living God. God loves you and He's calling you today to repent of your sins, to turn away from your sins, to put your trust in Jesus Christ today, my friends. My friends, if you want to learn more about God, if you want to have a relationship with God, we're giving out free Bibles. If you want a free Bible, feel free to get a free Bible. If you want us to pray for you, or if you have any questions, my friends, me and my friends will be here to, to pray for you, to answer your questions. God bless you, my friends, in Jesus' name.